Hey guys, and welcome back to Idle On, and today we're going to be checking in on my progress here on the characters, as well as uh, focusing in on my mining character, because I'm going to be switching it back from uh, fighting and gaining class levels to back to the mining build. So we're going to see what difference that has made in its uh, stats and mining efficiency and such. So pushing through uh, at Cryo Snakes, I was trying to get up to where the boss is just so that I can uh, be in position there. Figured I should try to unlock as many uh, areas as I could. And then I went back to do um, to increase the multi score for some of these other uh, mobs here that I hadn't farmed enough. So went back to do some of those. Um, still sort of working on my uh, sort of shrine levels there, but I'm probably going to stop pretty soon and just call it on that because I did some good progress with that, but now it's time, I think, to do some other stuff. So I'm still trying to work on the uh, Death Wish ring. Didn't manage to get any giant um, bone meals yet, but I assume that's going to happen sooner or later. It's possible that I'm wasting my uh, chances by having that prayer active when I do other mobs. So I don't know if that's true or not. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Maybe I should just turn it on before I do the bone meal and not use it otherwise. So I was back in the arena again, uh, the Coliseum, sorry, and still working on that. I'll try to have some more uh, Eidolon videos up, but I may have to start mixing some other games in because I haven't really had quite as much Eidolon content to make recently. Uh, I have to wait a number of days sometimes to get enough interesting stuff to make a video. So there's just a little bit less happening at these higher levels than there was at the lower or medium levels. Um, mostly because the lower levels have had like sort of progress kind of sped up a bit in certain areas but at these upper levels it starts to slow down and there's a little more of a grind so sometimes there isn't really as much interesting stuff to talk about because i'm kind of waiting for things to happen so i'm probably going to end up having to post some videos on like other games and such in the meantime and then still just include idle on videos when um there's something to show so mostly got material drops basically from uh, these Colosseums, Colosseum runs. I saw there was like an option. I thought you could get like the platinum, like legs or whatever. And some other, there's some other things you could get that looked like, I don't know, interesting or I was just too lazy to craft. So I was like, Oh, maybe I can get some of those, but a lot of tier three stones, which I do not even need. And it's kind of, Kind of disappointing there even are tier three stones in the drop table for this because they're really pretty pointless considering when you've gotten to this zone you already have access to the shop that sells the tier three stones so it's like why would you ever why would you ever need the ones from here but whatever um yeah get some statues from it some materials still that I don't have access to otherwise, which I guess is good and good enough to justify doing these. And then of course the boss keys, which are nice to have. The clap bars I don't really need. I guess they're sort of helpful. And yeah, still just getting resource drops. Nothing too crazy or wild. Maybe I need to try and get the next uh, gold chest really have a better chance of getting something interesting but i'm not really that close to the next chest is the problem from the score i saw on the wiki i don't seem to I, it's like i need like 1.2 million or something score and i'm really nowhere even close so i just stopped at 300k since that's where it seemed to end for that particular uh chest so i was just ending it at like 300k each time and seeing what i got But yeah, not too much of interest. Just pretty much all materials. 
So I probably won't do any more runs on this Coliseum for a little while unless I determine I need some of the uh, specific materials or if I can get my damage up so I can uh, take down some of the more additional waves, I should say. And yeah, I've started having to buy food because I'm not really getting as much food from anything I'm farming. That's the only bad thing about farming the sheepies is they don't drop food, I don't think. I don't think. They just drop like potions. So I should have farmed something with food. So I got a giant cryo snake. And this is my first giant mob. So it's pretty interesting to see, interested to see what was gonna happen. And it took a long time to grind this thing down. I had to speed it up for the sake of this video. Finally got it down and a small XP balloon, time candy gems, and uh, like 89 crowd snake skins. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. So getting some more good uh, 10 hour gains there on the boom boxes, which is pretty solid. Um, new area there i went back to do the golden peanuts now because those can increase my mining efficiency by a little bit i realized so i decided to try and craft a few of those i, I don't have the material for all of them yet i'm going to uh, smelt more gold bars first since that seems to be uh, a limiting factor so we'll put some of those in and get that started i moved my uh moved my frisbee ring over to this account so, hmm, what can we do? 117k efficiency. I respect my character here, level 49. Um, up at 117k efficiency. We're going to try and keep getting that higher, though. I'm, I'm still working on it, trying to see what other things I can do to increase it. My mining, uh, sorry, my iron ore card is still only, there's has another tier to go, but I need like 40 some cards, I think, to do it. So I realized I have a bunch of boxes here at the post office. So we can do that, I think, and um, get that going. So we're going to put all those into mining for the moment. I guess the other thing we could do after that would be the health boxes. But I'm doing the mining ones first. So that should impact our mining efficiency... Let's see. Okay, 124k now. That's some solid gains. So let's see if we can get some more points in, well, Copper Collector, as well as uh, Tool Proficiency. And then there should be some other ones. Okay, 135k. Very nice. That was some solid gains. So then what else do we still have left? Is there anything else more we can do? Um, taking a look. I could still get some more levels if I kept rolling the talent books, but it's just for a few points. So I wasn't really sure if it's worth it. I'm going to put points into those other, uh, like Big Pick and um, the other one there as well. But those aren't going to directly affect the uh, efficiency, I don't think. So we'll put points into those and mother load miner. And um, then we'll try uh, brute efficiency. That one increases the efficiency by quite a lot. So I definitely want to get the max points I can for that one. And I managed to do it after several rolls there. You can see 127. That's my current max. So we're going to increase that. And that should get me up a bit more. So let's put some points. It's just two points, but that might still help. It's a big time skill there and got me up to 138k. So anything else we can do that might be about it. That's a pretty good turnout right there. 138k mining efficiency. I'm pretty happy with that. Like that's a significant, significant increase over whatever I had before which wasn't uh, might have even, even almost been like half of that it wasn't that that wasn't that high I should say um, oh okay 
We can upgrade skill Dimwit for another 3% skill efficiency, 440k mining efficiency. There we go. And then another Frisbee ring might get it up a little bit more, but I don't have one right now. So, um, and then Tarantulite could be upgraded to something else with more strength. So this is what I got for right now. And I'm going to mine, going to mine for some iron ore cards. So there we go. So, uh, 140k efficiency. Yeah. Moving right along. So leave a like, if you guys enjoyed, let me know what you thought about this video in the comments and what other types of content I should create. And I will see you guys in the next video.